Welcome Undertakers! Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a s'mores cake and it's going to be super easy. Everything we're going to use is already pre-made so there's nothing from scratch here. The graham crackers, they're in a box. The cake mix, out of a box. The marshmallow fluff is already in the container and some chocolate syrup so we're just going to put it together. Now to make this cake I used a new mold that I had. I just got the other day and it's made out of silicone and the first one that makes the bottom portion of the cake has a ring in it so that when you make the cake it puts a little trough inside so we're going to fill it up with our marshmallow and then the top of the cake we'll put on top and that way our cake will have a hidden marshmallow layer inside and then we're going to top it off so it's going to be super easy so let's get started I'll show you what we're going to do now to put this cake together it's really simple you'll need a cake mix I'm using chocolate because it s'mores and just grab a chocolate cake mix, whichever one that you want, follow the directions on the back. Easy. We're also going to need some graham crackers for the top. Now I'm going to crush mine up in my food processor, so we're going to do that next. And that way we'll just put everything together, everything will be ready to go. I've got some of that marshmallow fluffy stuff we're going to use to fill the center and put on the top. And then I've got some chocolate sauce that we're going to put on the top. And this is... A special dark version of it. I've never had it, but it smells really good and I think it's going to work on here really well. So to get started, let's grind up our graham crackers and that way we'll have everything ready and we can put this together. Alright, graham crackers are in. Let's grind them up. Alright, graham crackers are crushed. Now let's get our fluff in our cake. Now if you don't have this mold, which I don't expect anyone's going to have this, you can do the same thing, just use a couple of round cake pans and obviously you're not going to have the dip in the middle but just put a layer of marshmallow fluff in between your layers, put the other layer on top and you're going to have the same thing. Alright, that was easy. Took me three seconds, filled that in with some marshmallow and then what the heck since I have it. A little extra chocolate because you can't have too much of that. Now, I'm going to pop the top on here. Alright, now I'm just going to cover the top of the cake with another layer of our marshmallow fluffy stuff. And I'm not going to do the sides. Now, you can see where the top and the bottom, there's a little gap there. But I'm not worrying about that for this particular cake. Because I think if I put marshmallow around the side, it's just going to end up running down. It's going to make a mess. And... That's just how it's going to be with this cake. So I'm going to put some marshmallow on the top. So there you go. And in about the minute it took me to do this, you can see where I've started. It's already smoothing out. As I was putting it on, it was all rough like that. But as it sits here for just a second, it all starts to kind of go together as one smooth surface. But we're going to cover it so it doesn't matter. So now I just want to take my graham crackers and just cover the top. And that's it. It was messy as heck, but hey, that's what dogs are for. And one final step. Now I did take my chocolate syrup and I transferred it into this little squeeze bottle so I can get a little better drizzle here. But we're just gonna cover the top of this with some chocolate. little graham cracker on top and boom s'mores cake and just like that s'mores cake easy fast I think even with moving the camera around and everything I did putting this together I think took me 10 minutes so super easy once you make the cake and let it cool putting this together is easy and look at that look how nice that looks but come on the real thing we all want to see what it looks like inside including me I've never made this before Alright, so there we go. The marshmallow in the middle coming out there. And then in the main cake, you can see there's obviously our marshmallow inner side there. 
There's also a hollow spot in the middle because the bottom part of the mold was like a bunt cake. So you end up with a strange little cave in the middle of the cake. So you can always fill that up if you wanted to with whatever you wanted. But other than that, I think it turned out pretty well. All right, so there's what it looks like, but what's it taste like? Ooh. It's just like a s'more with some cake in it. But it's pretty good. And there we go, that's all there is to it. Some store-bought ingredients, we put together a cake super fast, super easy. It tastes really good, not much to it. So if you're looking for a fast dessert to put together, this would fit the bill nice. And best of all, you get the great flavor and no dirty, messy campfire to make it. So I hope you give this a try. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.